Bertie from her to number 11, John Ross.
Uh, Barry, a uh, disappointing result tonight, uh, just getting beaten by that one point, uh, but it's the second half that really uh, made the scoreline uh, reverse from where a good first half had set you up. Yeah, we had a, a, a real good start to the game. Um, you know, real tough, intense game, and um, you know, some some real good hit outs there, sets wise. And um, we uh, we poked our nose in front. We had some good composure. Um, uh, lots of to and froing. Um but yeah, our start to the second half cost us the game. Um, Crikey, we had some 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 real pocket chases. Um, you know, from good kicks as well. Good kicks that, that you know that turned them around and. You know, gave us a chance of uh, of getting down the other end of the field and uh, and applying some pressure defensively. But um, yeah, to allow uh, to allow them to kick return, you know, three or four occasions and go fully 50, 60 metres, uh, you're in scramble mode. Uh, it was on the back of that that they got their points. And uh, yeah, you know, we uh, we gave ourselves a lot to do then. Uh, first half was going quite well. He went 12 nil up, but again, it was a try just before half time. Is that a bit of an Achilles heel? Because at, at, uh, at Oldham, it was a try right towards the end of the game. Um, is there just a little bit of com- uh, complacency just before the, the hooters on, on either half? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm not sure it's complacent. I think it's a, Oldham had a little bit of pressure. I think there were a couple of back to back sets, and uh, you know, and that pressure told on, on half time. And right as the hooters go in, the um, you know the uh, when they're 12 Josh Kroll is, uh, you know found himself with a ball in his hands probably never dropped a goal in his life before and uh, swung his boot in and, and, and went through the post ultimately that was the difference between the uh, the two teams at the end of the day but uh, um, no th- you know the, the second half the start to the second half crikey we just we were just really sloppy uh, with our kick chase and uh, showed real grit and determination then at the back end um an outstanding individual try from Gavin Duffy and uh, you know he had uh, um, probably could and should have won it uh, kick was just too strong from Liam Mackey uh, you know he scores that try to win the game at the end uh, the intensity you said before the game would have to ramp up at this so what do you put that slow start in the second half down to well I, un- until I review uh, I'm, I'm not sure I'm not sure because um, you know <laughs> the start of the second half you know um Apart from our kick chase, was similar to the start of the first half. You know, we, you know, we had to make hard yards coming out of our own end, and we had to kick and we had to chase hard. Uh, what we didn't do at the start of the second half was, we, you know, we made the hard yards. We got a good kick away, um, but just didn't chase it or didn't chase it as a unit, and and their fullback found himself, you know, running clear three or four times. And um, you know, I'll have to look at the game to, uh, you know, you know, to find out the reasons why people weren't in there and chasing down. It means now that the road to a grand final is a, is a difficult one, um, but it does mean they're probably going to be playing every week before it. Does that help? Um, I think there's, there's, there's pros and cons. You know, I think there's, um, there's methods that uh, you know, playing every week is, is, uh, is not a bad thing. Um, there's methods that obviously you want to get to the grand final as quickly as possible and, and have that, that, you know, that luxury of a week off. Um, we, we can't have that now. Um, however, you know, we're not going to be talking about a grand final. We're going to be talking about our next game. It's an elimination game. It's a knockout game, and uh, we have to win it to stay in the competition. And uh, you know, that's what we're going to be focusing on. And it'll be a tough game if it's Gateshead Hemel. Um, you know, both sides could could be up here and giving you quite a match again. We're raising that intensity. Uh, absolutely, yeah. You know, um, you know, Gateshead and Hemel have uh, markedly improved as the season's gone on. Uh, they made some some signings. They've improved their squad, and uh, yeah, they're, they're tough sides. How that game goes on Sunday will uh, uh, it'll be interesting to see. Um, well, certainly we have uh, have one eye on it, but um, yeah, you know, we did a lot right tonight. We did a lot right. We just had a real sloppy start to the second half, and um, like I said, until a review, um, I just can't quite put my finger on uh, you know the reasons behind it. But um, yeah, we've got to uh, we've got to play knockout rugby now. All right. Well, it's knockout rugby, and we'll see you next week uh, with the home tie against whoever wins against Gateshead Hamill. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.